There are many different ways to find Creative Commons licensed images on the web. One of the tools that I like to use is Fodor.com. Once you get to the Fodor.com page, type in what you're looking for into the search bar. Click on search photos. And then on the left hand side, mark whether or not you're looking for a commercial or non-commercial image. I'm looking for a non-commercial image. And you can search based on relevance, um, how old the image is, and based on interest. I'm going to select relevance. And I'm going to pick this picture. Right. If you click on the image, it'll pull up a screen that has information about what license the image has been published under. So this one has a Creative Commons attribution license. If you click on that link, it'll actually take you to the license so you can read it and make sure that it serves your purposes. So with this license, once again, this is a Creative Commons attribution license. You are free to copy and redistribute the material in any medium or format. You can adapt, remix, transform, or build upon the material for any purpose, even commercially. As long as you follow these terms, you must give appropriate credit and provide a link to the license and indicate if changes were made, if you've made a derivative work, for example. Okay, so I want this picture. Here's the cool thing. Right here is the photo credit, where it says photo credit. It has a link back to Fodor, where we got the image, and a link to the license. Okay. If you click on download, You'll see the picture pop up if you right mouse click on it. Save image as. I've already saved it. I've saved it as um, Benedict Cumberbatch filming Sherlock cropped. So I'm not going to save it again because it's already saved and then save it. Then I open up either a Google drawing or a Google doc and I insert the image. There's the picture. You could also put it on a website. I'm going to resize it. Okay, so here's my picture. And then if this was on a website or a blog, I would just paste in the photo credit. So if you make a derivative work, as I've done, scroll down here. If you change it, if you modify it, then your citation needs to be slightly different. Give me a second. Actually, here we go. I'll just use this. So here's a derivative work. I used the picture and I turned it into a meme. So it says citing CC sources is elementary. I'm allowed to do that because of the license. And it's a derivative work. I've changed it. So I would type something like this underneath the image. This derivative work was created under a Creative Commons license courtesy of, and then I would paste my information. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the word photo credit in a moment, and I'm going to delete that part. Courtesy of photo.com ccby. So we have We've met the requirements for the license. We've, we've mentioned that it's a derivative work. It links back to where we got it on Fodor, and it links back to the license. And there's the link. It goes right back to where we got the original image. So that is how you find an image on Fodor and properly cite it. It's a little bit easier than citing an image off of Flickr because the citation is already done for you, which is at least part of the citation. The hyperlinks are done for you, which makes it really convenient. So enjoy.